And there's the bell. And here we go. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. spot now guys look at him he's wide open for attack what a scary drop this is going to be big one way or another and he's heading back in His shoulders are down. And there's the kick out. Yeah, this is way too early to be going for the win. Oh, that hurt. Knee to the spine. Sharp knee. Now oh, the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Oh, going right after the neck. Jinder Mahal has become such a big threat as of late. Guys, how can you hope to counter the modern day Maharaja? Okay, look, not to take anything away from Jinder Mahal and all of his accomplishments, but a lot of he's going for the pin. Digging deep for a kick out. Nah, not yet. Too early. Byron brought up the strategy of taking out the Singh brothers, but it's easier said than done. Corey, how do you manage the multiple threats that come with Mahal and the Sings? It all comes down to timing, fellas. Jinder won both the WWE and United States Championship largely due to distractions. But if you're proactive, you can take out his underlings and still be able to top the modern-day Maharaja. This is not where you want to be. Unceremoniously deposited down. The reason many folks were surprised with Jinder Mahal winning the WWE Championship was because of how he ended his first run in WWE as a member of the ill-fated group 3MB. Oh boy, he is rolling. Byron, I'm going to perform an encore and bring 3MB back up. There's a lot of talent in the three-man band, but somehow he's Slater, Drew McIntyre, and Jinder Mahal couldn't pull it together. Yeah, but that was then. This is now, gentlemen. Since then, Drew with an earth-shattering spine buster. That was glorious. I thought that was it. I think more than that. Bobby Roode setting it up. Hallelujah. Trouble in paradise. He's stumbling some now. Looks to me like he's starting to feel the pressure, guys. Here we go, guys. Oh, man. To be a success at this level, gentlemen, you have to believe in yourself. And when I look at Bobby Roode, I see a superstar who simply oozes con. Bobby Roode setting it up. Hallelujah. Nailed it. Nobody does it quite like him. Cover here. Yeah, he's got a lot left in him. Might have slipped there, Cole. And Mahal just barely getting out of the way. As Corey noted, Rudy is a guy who thinks quite highly of himself. But Byron, some might say his level of confidence is bordering on arrogance. Yeah, but when you look at the hit list of top names he's defeated, I'd say Bobby Roode has a reason to be a little extra confident. Look out! When this guy's on, can he score the pin? That's it. The match is over. We've got some highlights from the last one queued up. Here we go. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance.
Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. Epic. Wow. I haven't seen a match like that in a long time. I might go home and watch a replay. It was that good. Here is your winner and the new United States champion, Bobby Roode. You're looking at the winner of this one-on-one -on -one match. That's a big win right there. Anytime you can pin another WWE competitor's shoulders to the mat for the three count, you should be proud. And it's matches like this one that makes SmackDown such a success. Thank you so much for joining us.